So I feel like I'm on the Jungle Cruise. Look at this. This is unbelievable. I want you all to share this video with your friends. This is really neat stuff, 106. Look at all the figs. There is a whole big bunch of them right there. This is like Adam and Eve. Okay, continue walking. Oh, there's much shorter than Holy cow. Let me tell you. All right, let's see if we can get through this thing. Maybe. So when you build a real nice greenhouse, all right, we're gonna dig down into the mulch. Oh my gosh, as we dig down, look at this. Red wiggler worms, 106 degrees. It is not oh, hot. Is it hot or is it cold? That is nice and cool. Just Can you believe the that? that you want. It's to not going to spontaneously combust, folks. No, it's not. There's a lot of you are worried about that. 106 degrees out here. Let's go inside the greenhouse. So you've all asked, is this thing going to spontaneous combust? It's 106 out here. Let's put our hand down in there. Is it really hot? Quite the opposite. It's actually quite cool. Really? And that is what helps everything grow. And that's what helps it not combust. Because right. It's compact and it's wet enough that it's you're not going to see that happen. What you're going to see happen is you're going to see things grow, and that's what you want. So this is self-sustaining, compost heated. It cools in the summer and warms in the winter. It's 106 degrees. We're going to take a look at this greenhouse now, see if it's going to spontaneously combust. I'll go inside of the greenhouse, see if things can survive, thrive, and do really well when it's 106 degrees outside. And can we keep the plastic on the greenhouses and keep it thriving when it's 106? Well, let's see. Okay, 106 outside. Bob is in the greenhouse. What do you think? Let's walk down the way and take a look, here we Bob. Go. Let's see what we got. We got some good looking peaches in here. They grow really well in these greenhouses. And you know what I've noticed, Bob? It's actually cooler in the greenhouse. It is today. Than it is outside. Don't you notice that? Especially near the ground. Near the ground. Uh, sometimes the, we got the rhubarb there growing. That looks really pretty. Some rainbow Swiss chard, too. Yeah. Take a look at the strawberries. They're looking really good in the heat. We're going to find some strawberries in here. Now down in the middle, we have a big fig tree. Let's walk down towards that and show the people. Okay. So this fig tree is taking over the greenhouse. It is, really. Look at all the figs. Here's a window. This is sunshine. Wow. But our pathway where we walk is a fig tree. So let's try to push it to the side and get through here. So we are totally in the fig business. Look at all of these figs. They are humongous. This is in Utah where figs don't grow. Just tons of them. They are growing. Uh-oh, I might have lost Bob. Let's continue. Yeah, oh, there Bob she is. is. House, even in the heat, you keep it watered really well, and that's the secret. It's wetting from Chad, it looks like. 106 degrees outside. I feel like I'm on the jungle cruise at Disneyland. This place is a jungle. There is. And More donut peaches. More donut peaches. Now, if we continue to the back, we're going to see celery. So our neighbor Bob is joining us. We are in this greenhouse, this compost heated greenhouse, 106 outside. Nothing is starting on fire. The plants are thriving. They are. Here's another section of the greenhouse. Look and at the plants. Really Holy sick. cow. Like, wow. Has noticed some beneficial insects in here. I have. There's a couple spiders. There's one right here and there's one over here. And these guys... They'll eat the spider mites. They'll eat the spider mites, and they will take care of the pests in here so that you worry about picking all this beautiful... Look flowers. at this morning glory. It's in flower. Usually we pull that out, but that's kind of pretty. It is pretty. I found something really neat. Some hidden tomatoes. So when you have a jungle like this, you can have a lot of volunteer crops, hidden surprises, celery. What do you think, Bob? Oh, I love the smell of the celery. It's really strong right here and if you like celery you'll you'll want to yeah, be eating this as you go compost heated greenhouse in utah everything is thriving no fires we want you to subscribe today follow us for the most advanced gardening videos online thanks so much for watching kitty 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 hi lucifer kitty 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 kitty